Hello, my lovely students. How are you today? I hope all of you are fine. I can't wait to see you again in the next term. Okay, primary two. Now we will make a revision on the first term. Okay, primary two, let's start with the graph. Here we have a table with four objects. The first one, the cupcake, then french fries, then donuts, and the chocolate. We want to represent this data on this graph. Let's go to the first one, the cupcake. How many cupcakes in the table? Six cupcakes. So we're gonna shadow six squares above the cupcake. The next one is the french fries. How many french fries we have? Two. Let's color two squares. Then the donuts. We have four donuts. So we will color four squares up to number four in the table. Okay. And the next one is the chocolate. And we have seven chocolates. And now choose the pick to graph. Here we have a table with months January, March, December, July. This table show us how many trees grown in each month. We want to see the key here, which is two trees represent one. And one tree represents half of the tree. Again, focus on the key of the pictograph. Each tree represents two trees. And each half represents one tree. Okay, let's go to the first one to understand how to count the pictures on the pictograph. On January, we have the first tree represent two. Here is two. Then, plus two, which is four. Again, plus two. Now we have six trees. Then again, each time we plus two, we add two. Here is eight trees. And then we have half of the tree. So this represents one. So, in January, we have eight plus one equals nine. Okay, let's answer the first question here. How many trees are grown in July? Look for July in the table. Here is July, the last one. We have two, four, plus one. Four plus one equals five. So we have five trees. The next one. How many trees are grown in December? December, it's the third one. Let's count together. Two, four, six, and one. Six and one equals seven. Excellent, primary two. Let's go to the next question. How many trees are grown in January? The first one, we answer it already, which is nine. Okay, and the last question, how many trees are grown in March? Where is March? It's the second one. Let's count together. Two, four, six, eight. And now we have eight trees. And this is the pictograph. Now, with the addition. Do you remember the addition? We put the bigger number in our mind and raise the small number in our fingers. Let's start with A. 2 plus 4 equals 4 in your mind and 2 in your fingers. After 4, 5, 6. Here is 6. Okay, primary 2 answers the next one with me. 3 plus 3 equals... Three in your mind and three in your fingers. After three, 
four, five, six. Also six. Okay, the next one. We have five plus two. Who is the bigger? Five. Put it in your mind. Then two in your fingers. After five, six, seven. The next one. Eight plus three. Put eight in your mind and raise three fingers. After eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then seven plus six. Put seven in your mind and raise six fingers. After seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And here is thirteen. Excellent primary two. Clap your hand for yourself. Okay, now with the subtraction. Minus, the minus sign. Okay, now we have the first one. 16 minus 9. Now we count after the small number to reach the big number. Do you remember? When we see the minus sign, count after the small to reach the big. After baby to reach mama. Okay, after 9, make your hand like 0 and count after 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Stop at 16. How many fingers to reach 16? 7. So the answer is 7. The next one, 9 minus 5. Count after 5 to reach 9. How many fingers to reach 9? 4. Excellent. The next one, 18 minus 10. After 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Stop at 18. How many fingers do reach 18? 8. Excellent. Okay, the next one. 8 minus 4 equals what? Count after 4 to reach 8. 4. Super. Super boys and girls. Primary 2. And now, let's read these story problems together. The first one. If you throw a dice once and get number three, and in the second time, you get number six. So, what is the total of the two numbers did you get? Three and six. So, we're going to add three plus six like this. Do you see the dice? Once we get 3, then we get 6. 3 plus 6 equals, after 6, 7, 8, 9. Here is 9. The next story problem. If Sarah brings 10 sandwiches to school and she eats 7 of them, how many sandwiches remained with her? When we see remained, so, we're gonna use the subtraction, we're gonna use minus sign. So, we put the first one, 10, the biggest, minus 7. 10 sandwiches minus the 7 sandwiches that she eats. Equals, after 7, 8, 9, 10. How many fingers do reach 10? 3. So, Sara eats 7 from 10. So the remaining sandwiches is 3. And now with the place value. Do you remember the place value? In the previous, we take the ones and the tens. If we have a number from two digits, the first digit will be in ones and the second digit will be in tens. So, what is the greatest number formed of two digits? Number what? What is the biggest digit we have? Nine. So, the greatest number formed of two digits is 99. Okay, if we add one to 99, 
Let's add it together. 9 plus 1 equals, after 9, 10. So we will put 0 and carry up 1. Then 9 plus 1 again equals 10. So 99 plus 1 equals what? 100. Okay, look at 100. The first digit is 0 from the right side. 0 is in the 1's place. The place value of this 0 is 1's. And the place value of the second 0 is 10's. And the place value of 1 is what? 100. So we have three place value. 1's, 10's, 100. Again, if we have number from two digits, we have 1's and 10's. If we have number from three digits, we have 1's, 10's and 100. Each digit has a place. Okay? Each digit has a place, a place value. Okay, let's answer a question on the place value. Here, we want to write the place value of the given digit. The first one. The place value of digit 3 and 13 equals, look at number 3, at digit 3 and 13. Here is this. 3 is 1s or 10s? When I'm asked about the place value, the place of the digit, I'm asked about 1s or 10s or 100. Here is 1s. The place value of digit 5 in 501. Make a line under the 5. Here is 5. 5 in which place? 1s or 10s or 100? 100. We can write 100 or we can write H. The next one. The place value of digit 9 in 29. Underline 9 in the number. Here is 9. Which place 9 is there? Here is the 1s. The 9 in the 1s. We can write 1s or we can write O. The next one. The place value of digit 6 in 679. Underline 6. And where is this? It's in the 100. Excellent. The next one. The place value of digit 1 in 215. Underline 1. 1 is in the tens. Excellent. Okay, the place value of digit 2 in 27. First, underline 2. 2 is what? 1s or 10s or 100? 10s. Uh, Excellent. Excellent, primary 2. Okay, primary 2. Now, with arrange in an ascending order. In an ascending order, we go from the smallest number to the biggest number so when we answer we look for the smallest number where is the smallest number here 140 excellent write it down and cross it out then look for the smallest each time we look for the smallest number where is the smallest one here 322 excellent then the smallest one is 450 and 542 excellent then the biggest one is 798 the next one arrange in a descending order in a descending order we go from the biggest number to the smallest number. So each time we look for the big because we start with the biggest one. What is the biggest number here? It's 996. Excellent. Then look for the biggest one. Primary 2. Hmm. It's 870. Excellent. Then... 
532 super then 330 and the smallest one is 226 okay now with the addition of two digit number the first one 23 plus 34 how can we do it first we have to write the place value of each digit in 23 3 is ones and 2 is tens in 34 4 is ones and 3 is tens then we have to start addition with the ones. We start with what? With ones. Excellent. First, we have to add 3 plus 4. Ones plus ones. 3 plus 4 equals 7. Excellent. And let's go to the tens. Tens plus tens. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So the answer is 57. Excellent primary two. Let's answer the next one. Here is tens and ones, and here is tens and ones. We start with what? Tens or ones primary two? We start with ones. Super. So we will add five plus two. Five plus two equals seven. Excellent. And seven plus two equals nine. Super. Okay. 23 plus 65 write the place value then start to add the ones 3 plus 5 put 5 in your mind and 3 in your fingers after 5 6 7 8 here is 8 ones plus ones give us ones okay and tens plus tens gives us tens and 2 plus 6 equals 8 so the final answer is 88 the next one is subtraction we have minus sign don't forget but also we will write the place value who is tens and who is ones then subtract ones from ones and tens from tens the first one here 5 minus 4 equals what? Count after 4 to reach 5. After 4, 5. Only one finger, so the answer is 1. Then, 4 minus 1 equals what? After 1, 2, 3, 4. How many fingers to reach 4? 3. So the answer is 31. The next one is 93 minus 21 right who is tens and who is ones then start with the ones 3 minus 1 equals after 1 2 3 2 then 9 minus 2 equals after 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 how many to reach nine seven fingers excellent primary two okay primary two and now with the addition with regrouping carry up the first one is 65 plus 29 here we have to start with the ones five plus nine equals after nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14. We can't write two digits in the answer. We have to write the ones only. So we'll write four. Then, what about the one in 14? We carry up the one to the tens. So one plus six equals seven. Seven plus two equals nine. So the answer is 94. The next one, 37 plus 48. We start with the ones, which is 7 plus 8. 7 plus 8 equals after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
we can't write all 15. We write 5 and carry up 1. Then, don't forget the 1. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Then, 4 plus 4 equals 8. Excellent. Okay, primary 2 is the next one. 47 plus 15. Here is 7 plus 15 equals 12. Write 2 and carry up 1. 1 plus 4 equals 5. 5 plus 1 equals 6. Here is 62. And the next one is 32 plus 21. Here is 2 plus 1. 1 plus 1. 2 plus 1 equals 3. There is no carry up here. Then 3 plus 2 equals 5. Excellent primary 2. And now we want to make rounding to the nearest 10 to these answers. Let's start with 94. Here we have to make a circle around the ones. The ones here is poor number or rich number. Let's see the poor numbers. The poor numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 is the poor number. So the 4 will be 0 and we will write the 9 like it is. Okay, the next one is 85. We want to round the 85 to the nearest tenth. Circle the ones and find the 5 is poor or rich. No, it's rich number. Look at the rich numbers. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The rich numbers gives 1 to the tens. So the 5 will be 0 and the 8 will be what? Will be 9. Excellent. Because 5 gives the 8 1. So we plus we add 1 to the 8, which is 8 plus 1 equals 9. Okay, the next one, 62. Make a circle around the ones. 2. 2 is poor or rich, primary 2? It's poor number. Excellent. So the 2 will be 0 and the 6 will be the same. So when we round 62 to the nearest tenth, it will be 60. Okay, the next one, 53. Circle the ones. 3 is poor or rich. It's poor. So it will be 0 and the 5 will be the same. So the answer will be 50. Okay, primary 2. Excellent. Clap your hand for yourselves. The next one. Let's read these story problems. Omar has 27 pounds and Khaled has 62 pounds. How much money they both have? I want to know the money with them. So we will, we will add 27 plus 62. We start with what? Ones or tens? Ones. Excellent. So 7 plus 2 equals 9. Excellent. And 2 plus 6 equals 8. Super. The next story. Yasmin bought a dress for 64 pounds and a shoe was for 35 pounds. How much money did she pay? The money she paid will be 64 plus 35 the price of the dress and the shoes. So let's start to add 4 plus 5. 9, excellent. And 6 plus 3, also 9. So the money she paid is 99 pounds. And now with the shapes. Complete the next. The circle has how many vertices? Here is a circle. Does the circle has vertices? No, it has no vertices. It's a curved line. Okay, 
The square has how many sides? Here is a square. Has four sides. Excellent. Okay. The rectangle has... Here is a rectangle. How many sides of the rectangle? Four sides. Excellent. Primary two. Okay. The next one. The triangle has... How many sides and how many verses? Here is a triangle. How many sides here? Three. Excellent. And how many vertices? What is the vertex? What is the vertex primary two? The vertex is the meeting point between the two uh, sides. Each two sides has meeting point. It's called a vertex. So, the number of sides equal always the number of vertices. So, the triangle has three sides and three vertices. And also the rectangle has four sides and four uh, vertices. And the square has the four sides and four vertices. So, the number of sides always equals the number of vertices. Okay, the next one, the hexagon. What is the hexagon? Here is a hexagon. It has how many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon has six sides. Okay, the rumpus has how many sides and how many verses? Here is a rumpus. Okay, uh, it has four sides and four verses. Letter H, the pentagon has, here is a pentagon. The pentagon has one, two, three, four, five. It has five sides. And what? Five vertices. Excellent. The trapezoid has how many sides and how many vertices? Here is a trapezoid. It has four sides and four vertices. Okay, primary two, and now with the lens. Here we want to write the length of this pencil. We start with to put a pencil on the zero point on this ruler and find the ending point of the pencil. The ending point of the pencil is 9. So the length of this pencil is 9 what? 9 centimeter. We measure the length by centimeter. Meter. So in this ruler, we have how many centimeter all the all the ruler? We have here 15 centimeter, and the length of this pencil is 9 centimeter. And this is the solids. Complete the following. What are the solids? Do you remember the solids? Are three-dimensional shapes. Any uh, anything we can catch, we can hold is three-dimensional, like this solid. The first one, the slender. Here is a slender has how many edges and how many bases? It has no edges and it has two bases. Okay, the rectangle prism. Here is a rectangle prism, like a box of tissues. Has how many faces? Let's count the faces of this rectangle prism. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has six faces. And how many edges? It has 12 edge. Here is the edges of the rectangle prism. You can count also. Okay, the next one, the cube has how many vertices? The cube has eight vertices. Okay, and the sphere has how many edges? Here is a sphere, it has no edges, it's a ball. The squared pyramid has how many faces? And one of them is what? Based. It look like what? It has first, here is a squared pyramid. It has five faces. 
One of them, shaped like what? One of them is a square. Excellent. And now with the weight. What is the weight? The weight is how much anything is heavy. We can measure the weight by two measuring units. The first one is the gram. The gram is the appropriate unit to measure little weights, small things such as pencil, ring, anything small uh, or not heavy, light, we can measure by gram. And kilogram. Kilogram is another measuring unit, but it's appropriate unit to measure big weights, such as fruits, animals, anything is heavy, we can uh, measure it by kilogram. Now, complete. We can measure the weight of ring by what? Gram or kilogram? A gram, because the ring is light. Okay, we can measure the weight of fruits by what? Kilograms or gram? Kilogram. Excellent. We can measure the weight of balloon by what? Balloon is heavy or light? Light. We can measure it by gram. Then, we can measure the weight of animals by what? Gram or kilogram? By kilogram. Excellent, because animals are heavy. And now with the time. The first one here, we have two hands in the o'clock. We have short hand, which is on two, and the long hand on three. So how can we read this time? The short hand tell the hours and the long hand tells the minutes. So the long hand here is on the quarter of the clock. When the long hand on three, it's a quarter past. Quarter past what? Quarter past two. Then the next one, look at the long hand. The long hand on the half of the o'clock. So it's half past what? Look at the short hand. It's half past eight. And the next one is look at first the long hand. The long hand on nine. When the long hand on nine, so it's quarter two. Quarter to what? Quarter to six. Excellent. The next one, the long hand on twelve. When the long hand on twelve, this is tells us the exact hour. It's eight o'clock. It's exactly eight. Okay, the next one, here is the long hand on who? On six, so it's what? It's a quarter or half? It's half past, then look at the short hand, half past seven. The next one is quarter past four, excellent. Then it's half past three. And the last one, the long hand on nine. So it's a quarter to, quarter to what? It's a quarter to one. And now we have finished from our revision. Thank you, primary two. See you next term. Bye-bye.